On the refereeing point, certainly in commentary, Alan Quinlan felt that the stop-start nature of the game, the water carriers, um, blood stoppages, they weren't handled well by Nick Berry. So that's one aspect. What about in general terms, Rob, the decisions across the game? I think they were pretty mixed. There was some bad calls. Uh, there was a few calls that he deferred to his TMO in terms of sort of trying to wash his hands a little bit of a few things and, and passing the book on to someone else. I, th I think the officiating and refereeing as a whole in this competition hasn't been great. Why not? I think the consistency just across the board has been poor. Um, it was one of my big worries coming into this World Cup. I had two big worries for the World Cup. One was uh, head knocks, red cards, the whole story of concussion. Yeah. I don't think that has been a huge problem, well, a huge been, issue. It's not been a big talking they've, they've point. They've been lenient on head knocks. They have been very lenient on it. Um, and, and your second worry? My second worry was refereeing and were we going to spend a huge amount of analysis post-game, pre-game, in the week, build up to a game, talking about referees. Yeah. And I think we've done too much of that. Yeah. Matt, where are you in the refereeing generally? Uh, it's, we've had a problem with our officials for 20 years, more. You know, the, the 2011 World Cup final, just disastrous refereeing. We've had disastrous refereeing for years. But the, the difficulty I have in saying that is we place our officials in really hard spots. It is a very complex game. Robbie was saying there was something like 19 possible penalties every tackle. And yet we are not... A, there's, there's, the game is not doing anything to assist in the referees in making those decisions. Now, if we come back to Michael's point here, so we're on two points. Mm. There was a forward pass, definite forward pass in an in a Argentinian try that they let go. That shouldn't have got through the TMO. It should have been brought back. And the Argentinians made a whole lot of self errors. So I don't, I don't agree with Michael completely that it was, they, Argentina lost because of the, the, the officials. But officiating generally across the board has been a massive problem for, for many, many years mm. and remains a big problem. And that my worry is there's not the political will to address I, it. I think, I think it's, you know, it is a very difficult job. It is. Uh, you know, for, for the man in the middle. Um, I agree with, with Cheka. I thought there was a couple of scrum penalties, a couple of rook penalties. I, he was right to be filthy, uh, filthy about. That may have been the difference. But the most egregious error on the night was missing the forward pass. Mm. And not just because the referee missed it. It then got referred to the TMO and the TMO yeah. missed it. Yeah. Like, what are we doing here, yeah. guys? That is absolutely ridiculous. And it calls into question uh, the, official, um, uh, the, the, you know, the whole notion of referring to a yeah. TMO. Yeah. So, you know, and that's integrity of the game stuff. Mm, yeah. And, you know, if was there a bit of a, you know, this is a third place playoff, we, we, you know, we've got a decent game here. You can't have that. No. I'm mm. sorry. It's just not it's, it's worrying that that's the only explanation for how bad it is. Well, listen, I'd like was. to hear, you know, is yeah. we're gonna, are we going to get a statement out tomorrow morning on this? I suspect not, because there's a World Cup final mm. um, is where we are.